What's up, y'all? James Gibbs III here, as known as King James III, professional trumpeter, music director, band leader, producer, recording artist, and I want to become your online trumpet instructor. Come and join me, and let's take this ride together. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get to it. The first thing, to learn how to play the trumpet, you gotta learn how to buzz into one of these things. It's just a regular trumpet mount piece, all right? So, unlike any other horn, where most horns, like a recorder or clarinet or saxophone, where you can just blow air into the horn in order to get a sound out. Not necessarily a good sound, but just at least get a sound out. You can just blow some air right through it. With the trumpet, fortunately or unfortunately, you have to actually learn how to buzz. So, just to give you an example, if I try to just blow air into this trumpet, you're not gonna get a sound like this. Nothing. But if I did a buzz, you would get a sound out, an effective buzz. Just like that, all right? So all you need for this lesson is just your mouthpiece, all right? And a little bit of time on your hands. So uh, please go get your mouthpiece if you don't already have it. I'll see you back here in a second, all right? Here we go. All right, how to set your embouchure, which is pretty much the placement of your mouth with the trumpet mouthpiece, how to set your embouchure to prepare your buzz. Really simple stuff. All you have to do is take the top and the bottom of the middle of your mouth, okay? And you're going to line it up with the cup of your mouthpiece as such, okay? And you're going to put the top and the bottom into the cup, okay? And that's it, that's all you have to do. So here are a few pictures of how my embouchure is set. All right, so that's my embouchure placement. Everybody's embouchures are a little different. Okay. Now, as a side note, I will say, go in front of a mirror, practice in front of a mirror. Just look at how your embouchure is set, all right? And in the next segment, we're going to start doing some buzzing, okay? Here we go. So, because you have your embouchure placement in your mouthpiece, okay, does not mean that you're going to end up buzzing right then and there. You can still end up blowing just regular air into the mouthpiece, like this. Okay, nothing, all right? But here is what a buzz sound like in the mouthpiece. Okay, now, here is what a buzz sound like and look like without the mouthpiece. Now, it's gonna look a little weird, but this is how it is, all right? Check this out. Okay, that's pretty much how it looks. So why don't you go and try it and come and join me on the next segment. All right, see you in a minute. All right, in this segment, I am going to play just two notes for you out of my mouthpiece. The first note is going to be a G or an F on the keyboard or a C on the trumpet or B flat on the keys, all right? So here we go, G for the trumpet, F on the piano or C on the trumpet, B flat on the keys, all right? And I'm going to set my metronome here to 80. Okay, so I'm going to play both notes, four beats each, and then I'm going to play it with it on the next segment, okay? So here is the G, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, again. Okay, I just wanna lock that in. Now I'm gonna do it with it, here we go. Now, 
what you can actually tell is that my notes from the mouthpiece is not really in pitch with the keys because I'm playing it raw from the mouthpiece. So that does happen. Some people can play it in pitch and some people can't. So it all depends on the cut of your mouthpiece, but that's a whole nother um, science when it comes to mouthpieces or just your embouchure. You know, I may be a little, little tight with it, but that's pretty much how it goes. So join me on the next segment and let's shed this together. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the pattern. The pattern is going to be G played twice, four counts. Then we're going to play C twice, four counts. Okay, then we're going to re repeat that twice. All right, so I have my metronome set to 80. And so we're going to, I'm going to play the pattern first on the keys. Then I'm going to then, then we're going to play it on the mouthpiece together like this. Here we go. Two, ready, go. One, two, three, again. Now to the C. Two, three, again. And then we're going to do it again. Two, three, again. Again. Here's the C. Now here we go. Let's do it. One to the G. Mm. All right, I hope you enjoyed that last segment. I'm just gonna say, just repeat each segment that you need to repeat in order for you to get the full benefit of these lessons, all right? So you have two options of doing that. What you can do is you can just take your red scroll bar and just draw it back where you need to and repeat that. Or if you click on the description below this video, I have everything already sequenced order for you and with the timestamp. So all you gotta do is just click on the timestamp like that. It'll repeat any segment of this lesson that you want to repeat, all right? So have at it, have fun. That's what this is all about. And, but we're not done yet, okay? I do have something else that I would like to show you to add on to this lesson that's going to, I think, be very interesting for you. So check it out. In this particular segment, I am going to have life meeting art, okay? What I mean by that is I'm going to just take some random things that you can actually imitate with your mouthpiece and imitate those sounds from these particular things. Like one, I have a kazoo, okay? You can imitate the sound of a kazoo and you can also imitate the sound of one of those birthday party noisemakers, okay? so. Anytime, you know, I should say around what, New Year's or birthday party, any type of celebration where a kazoo or a uh, birthday party noisemaker is involved, instead of using that, use your mouthpiece, all right? So here's an example of me playing the kazoo and the birthday noisemaker and see how close in sound and comparison you can get from it. Check it out, hope you enjoy. that the kazoo and the birthday noisemaker what can i say i mean all it's going to do is just make your buzzing better a lot more fun you know creative all right so if you have any um, suggestions any creative ways of making buzzing the mouthpiece different better hey share it in the comment section i would definitely love to check it out hey if you got a video hey send the video put it down there i would definitely love to check your video out so you know, if you have fun, I know I have fun, but I do want to say that I do have one last segment 
that I want you to check out. I think it's very important. So uh, again, thank you. And I will see you on the next lesson. All right, take care. All right, so here is the last segment of our first lesson together, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. All right, I know I enjoyed myself making this for you. All right, here we go. So if you go back to where we were playing the G and the C, I only did it for four counts, remember? All right, what you can do is you can take those notes, all right, and play what we call a long tone. All right, this is very, very important. Okay, so you can take the note in the long tone. All you're doing is taking either one of those notes, both notes, and you're going to play and sustain the note as long as you can, okay? It's only going to help build this embouchure, this muscle on your embouchure, okay? So long tones is very, very important. Now, I do want to add that you may feel a little tingling sensation on your, on your embouchure. And that's normal, okay? So, you know, do not be alarmed. That's gonna say, just relax. Uh, take some time in between. Go back, do it again. You can never uh, not, you know, do this, okay? So, you know, so if you feel a little tingling, just, you know, don't worry about it. It's normal. It happens to everyone. Top-notch professionals. Going up, around, down, in all facets of life, all right? Nobody is exempt to the vibration, all right? So if you enjoyed this as much as I did, feel free to subscribe if you wish, or click on the bell. I have a lot more of these lessons coming at you, and I'm just gonna say, hey, welcome to the Trump family. I'm glad to have you, and we're glad to have you. Y'all take care, peace.